Ok Petang ni Aku baru install satu game baru Ni game uh, Jet Fighter punya simulation eh, Kalau aku tak silap uh, DCS The Free ni tak silap DCS Digital Combat Series So Sebelum ni kalau tak silap aku Kalau ada full game Dia ada semua All the fighters kan So yang dekat Steam ni Dia free Kalau nak tengok Dekat uh, Store page ni It's free Saya ada bunyi Mat DCS World Steam Edition It's free DCS World is a realistic sandbox Nanti kau tengok lah So bila aku baru install ni Sebab sebelum ni aku dah lama dah add Cuma aku tak install lagi Tak try lagi So Kita just go straight To the game lah This is the game Tapi problem je Apsal tak keluar Fully ni Dekat aku punya Dekat gua punya ni Sorry ada problem sikit Dekat aku punya Game capture ni Ok patut lah Problem 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 tak problem sangat lah It's just that Ha. Dia punya apa Ok sekarang ha, Baru clear sikit Ok so Ni kita kat depan menu dia Dekat depan menu dia So kalau tengok sekarang Kita ada map Yang dibagi free map Caucasus region along the eastern black sea consists of russian georgian and turkish territory yeah bases ok that's the jet yang dia bagi su 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 aku tak tahu lah pasal jet jet ni kita dapat su 25t satu dengan mustang oh ni pun waktu punya ni oh ya yeah. lupa Lepas tu before start aku kena on kan aku punya track IR Track IR is this thing yang which is kau pakai Ok Which is kau, kau pakai Untuk senang lah bila main macam This kind of game Kau tak payah nak Ini ada macam sensor Bila kepala kau pusing Nanti aku tunjuk so, Bila kepala kau pusing Dia view Kau view So Ok dia tak detect Aku kena restart Aku exit Aku kena restart the game Restart the game So that So that Oh, that Eh Kenapa tak gerak-gerak lagi uh. Just kalau aku ada macam VR lagi best ni Pascal je ha, Terus boleh tengok kan Tapi so ni It's the poor man's VR lah Poor man's tak poor man's jugalah Susah agak aku nak cari hari tu So Okay Kita go straight to the training lah ha? Kita try Start up taxi take off Tengok macam mana Apa benda sebenar So Menarik kalau keyboard kat sini lah kot ha. Aku ada pakai radar kat bawah ni Tak tahu nampak tidak Kalau korang tengok kat aku punya controller Oops bawah tu nampak ke tak nampak kau ada ada 
Aku ada dan Rada punya setup So Senang Lama kat loading dia So Yang rada ni just untuk kita Move the aircraft Yaw lah So ni kita punya Pitch Ni Kita punya aileron hmm. Aku dah biasa dah dengar Game DCS ni Tapi tak pernah try Hari ni nak try Eh lama gila loading dia Dia download balik ke apa ni Hmm Yes. Ni just tutorial je Apa yang dia buat sebenarnya hmm, Lama siut So sementara tu Ok start ha, Tengok Sekarang ni bila aku pusing tu Aku punya person dalam Game ni pun teruk pusing Dan bila aku nak zoom ha, Nampak Senang aku nak tengok apa benda Button-button ni Ya aku baca dulu Bla 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 <laughs> Fly Welcome to the SC-25T Frogfoot The Frogfoot Also called the Gratch Is a very capable ground attack aircraft That can destroy most anything on the battlefield Before we start blowing things up though Let's first learn how to start up this bird And taxi to the runway The first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. Turn on, turn up, turn on the electrical, electrical power, shift L. With the electrical power now engaged, you can see that the heads up display, or HUD, comes to life as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Now that we have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right, control, and L. Next, let's close the canopy by pressing left, control, and C. Our next step is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Start the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. the left engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. Oh, Aku tahu dia dah start. Oh, sini ada. Ya, sampai here ni. Ada. Macam start lah kot. So. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine gauge, with needles marked 1 and 2 for the two engines. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. We're now ready to taxi, so slowly increase the throttles by moving your throttle control forward or pressing page up. To reduce throttle, use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press W. Start rolling forward and turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. Nice job, you're now heading in the right direction. Keep your taxi speed around 10 kilometers per hour, as indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. As you taxi, use small, smooth rudder corrections to keep you aligned on the center of the taxiway. Okay. 
sedikit apa-apa pun At the fork, hang a right to reach the runway. As we taxi, you can go to an external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. You can zoom in and out using the We've now reached the runway threshold. Once aligned down the runway, increase thrust of both engines to maximum and use gentle inputs on the rudder, X and Z, to keep you tracking down the center line. Yeah. 
finish so punca nombor 11 So trim trim uh, trim down left wing down so jana ini to elevator and nose down nose down up left yang atas radar tak payah radar aku layan je lah complicated sangat kan kira kalau yang baru-baru nak main tu tapi kena ada joystick lah rudder apa menelah bawah kaki ni tak perlu tak apa sebab boleh pakai kat ni kan nampak eh controller ni boleh pusing kau tak boleh angkat bawah so attitude latent it right control and semi colon left control right control and Period semicolon. Oh sini pun tu. To trim. Altitude hold left L. O H. Altitude and roll hold left L and two. Level left L three o one two three banyak dia punya level flight barometric altitude hold. Oh banyak dia punya ni. Command. Hmm kita jugaklah banyak no dia punya tu. Okey, fly. Welcome to this lesson on the basic flying and navigation of the SU25T. This lesson will teach you how to get from point A to point Z and all points in between. I currently have the lesson in active pause. If you wish, you can turn on cockpit lighting by pressing L. Your airspeed is indicated at the top left corner of the HUD. The horizontal line below the airspeed indication with the care below it indicates your acceleration and deacceleration. If the care is on the left side of the line, you are deaccelerating. If it is in the center, your speed is not changing, and if it is on the right side of the line, you're accelerating. The smaller number above is your set airspeed for that leg of the route when you're in navigation mode. Press the space bar to continue. Destination on the course. 
course line is a direct line between two waypoints. Press the spacebar to continue. Tiba-tiba jadi macam ni Course line the course line is the direct line between two waypoints. Press the spacebar to continue. In the bottom center of your front dash is a horizontal situation indicator, or HSI, that looks like a compass. The yellow needle points directly to your next waypoint, and the top left field indicates the range of kilometers to that waypoint. The top right field indicates your course bearing to reach the next waypoint. The double white needles points to your course intercept. When you're on course to the next waypoint, both the yellow and white needles will align. Press the space bar to continue. Ahead of you are a series of gates to fly through. You can push the stick forward to push the nose down and dive, or pull back the stick to raise the nose and climb. These inputs control your elevator. Use the throttle to <laughs> page up and page down to control your thrust. Try to keep your air speed at around 620 miles per hour. Press the space bar when you're ready, and I will unpause the lesson. Okay. Note that when you pass through a gate, the next one's sequence will become larger if it's rather far away. If you get too fast, reduce the throttle and toggle your air brakes by pressing B. The next gate is above you and to the left. To change your heading, use your aircraft's ailerons to roll the aircraft to the left by moving your control stick to the left and then gently pulling back on the stick until you are aligned with the next gate. Alah, terlepas. gates are below you and to the right. This time, roll the aircraft to the right and lower your nose to fly through the gates.
Pilau tahan Punya break dia macam punya baldi Side to side, using the yaw letter yaw called yaw. Yaw left by pressing Z, and yaw right by pressing X. center of the HUD, you can see the range indication to the next waypoint. In the lower right portion of the HUD is the next waypoint number, in this case, 15. Alright, so I'm in late. 